The original studio was founded as a electronic music studio by Walter Sear in 1963. I believe in 1989 landed in this building. Walter spent 45 years of his life, roughly, just collecting and building this place up. It's the biggest microphone collection in New York City. We have a beautiful Neve upstairs, 8038, and down here, a one-of-a-kind Sony Avalon custom console that's one of the cleanest and most transparent consoles I've ever, ever worked on in my life. The studios led me to projects with Fleet Foxes, Paul Simon, a bunch of records with Yoko Ono, and I've been very fortunate to have been able to sneak into the jazz community. Most recent projects of note have been uh, Kurt Elling's The Questions, which we actually tracked and mixed entirely here, exclusively through the Aurora N. I think the conversion gets overlooked a lot. We worry about microphones, we worry about mic pre's. For me, one of the most important stages in audio is what is capturing that audio. We do a lot of analog sessions here and, and we're trying to get this incredible sound to tape. Why aren't we doing that with the converters as well? And uh, finding a converter that is very honest, very transparent, gets to be very expensive and very difficult to find. With the Aurora N, I found that in a price range that is, in my opinion, too low for what you get out of it. <laughs> Getting the sound off the bat is almost instant. It just captures exactly what I put into it. I trust what I'm hearing. I know exactly what I'm getting into with every mix right off the bat. I don't have to think about anything. I flip the computer on, I turn on the interface, and everything works. I think everybody benefits from these converters, there's no question. By upgrading from the old standard issue converters that we've had for as long as I've worked here, into these links or ends, we're gonna have an increased ability to hear the differences between the microphones and the differences between the microphone preamps, you know, choosing outboard gear. Everything is easier when you're hearing it honestly and, and with this level of clarity. The freedom of being able to choose whatever I want to feed into these converters is going to open up sonic possibilities I think everybody who comes through here is going to notice right away just a drastic improvement in the overall character and clarity in their recordings.